We've all done Sm Pokemon Smasher Pass because Markiplier was so huge. His was hilarious because he made the sussest video of all time and took it completely seriously, which is just so funny. Uh, and now Mad Pat's jumping onto the trend as he tends to do. But now here's the rule. Chat, you guys want me to watch this Markiplier Smasher Pass game theory thing. So he here's how it's gonna work. Every time I am forced to watch a game theory video because of you, I am gonna show you my two favorite game theory clips of all time. This is gonna be a rule. We're gonna be doing this every single time. Now, my first favorite game theory clip is this one. The Mad Pat doesn't watch porn clip, which is completely under the radar, but if you look in the comments, there's me four months ago. Oh, four months ago, goddamn. Well, anyway, Billy, Nuxtaku, everyone, everyone over here came from me, all right? This video is only popular because of me, and I need more people to see it because it's hilarious. I've actually never looked at porn. Tell him, Tell him. Ever, like, outside of... <laughs> out, outside. <laughs> Try not to laugh. Try not to laugh, impossible challenge. Try, try not to laugh. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. I love it so much. You can't keep getting away with this. And also, this Mad Pet clip is the other one that I have to show you every time. Over here, we're doing the math now, and nothing, not even that lolly on the other page, is sexier than math. <laughs> Alright, well, now that we've shown you those clips, we can watch the Markiplier video. Pass. Pass. Dude, Markiplier's Pass. video is so Pass. good. Pass. What's this? Pass. <laughs> Wait, why, why would he want to smash a bee drill? You, you mean, like, crush it? Because it's, it's a big bug? Uh, Matt? Wouldn't that be, like, a like a smooshing it or a swatting? Dude, dude, I can't believe this man has been making YouTube videos for 10 years, and he's still doing these cringe comedy intros. It's unbelievable. Like, how he how hasn't he done away with this? It maybe. Oh, my God. Matt? Oh. Gross. All right, you, you should know a thing or two about gross. And nothing, not even that lolly on the other page, is sexier than math. Yeah, yeah, but Markiplier's gross, all right? Markiplier wants to smash a Beedrill with consent, okay? All right, okay? Not this statutory stuff. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory, oh, the God. show that can't pass on the opportunity to ask you to smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Comedy a thousand. Very proud of that intro. Today's wow. episode- Dude, this man, man- Dude, we are 40 seconds in, and it's been a cringe fest. Not since the Luigi's Eggplant episode has there been something this dumb Bruh. and ridiculous on the channel, but you know what? Here we are, and I gotta admit, I am excited about it. We've been so serious lately, talking about FNAF Bro, What's with that sexy Pikachu that he uses in the thumbnail? That That is very sus. Analyzing one man deciding whether or not he'd enjoy having relations with 900 fictional animals. Ah, uh, Markiplier. Bro. Hit him with the dab! It's still alive! It's 2020! Come on, bring it back! We actually have a bit of back and forth when it comes to- out of all the Markiplier clips, that one. Okay. Your channels. He plays Power Wash Simulator and asks for a theory. I want a deep dive video from Matt Pat about the lore of Power Wash Simulator. I, like the good friend <laughs> that I am, make the theory about it. He creates a mystery series full of lore. I dissect said lore. He plays Security Breach and calls people who pick Monty Golf nerds. Anyone that picks Monty Golf is just a nerd. I, of course, go on to pick Monty Golf. Woo! Gator golf. But if there's one thing I love more than Mark, oh, it's God. math. Numbers. That's. Oh my God! And not even that lolly on the other page is sexy. Oh, we're bringing it back, boys. Not even that lolly on the other page is sexier than math. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's consistent. He's consistent. Woo! Gator golf. But if there's one thing I love more than Mark, it's math. Numbers. <laughs> that's sweet. Yo, all right. So on the totem pole, we have math, lollies, Markiplier. I'm just saying. But what if there was a subconscious pattern here? Oh Some sort God. of logic that cuts oh through the seemingly God. random knee-jerk choices. The what if dang. there was a perfect Pokemon that Markiplier missed? Or better yet, what if we created for Markiplier his perfect Pokemon? Or what if it was just chance? I had to look into it. And with the power of math on my side, I believe I found something. Despite and nothing! Not even that lolly on the other page is sexier than math. References that is my favorite quote ever. I'm just saying that he voices in the video his subconscious was making decisions that even he didn't fully understand He didn't understand why he wanted to have sex with Magneton. Smash. 
But why? Well, don't worry, Mark. As your friend, I'm here to help you out. Dude, so the, Mad Pat's the friend that it's that psychoanalyzes you because of what dessert you order in a restaurant. Okay. Ah, he went with the uh, passion fruit mousse. Not gonna lie, passion fruit shows daddy issues. If, if I, I've seen <laughs> daddy issues, I've ever seen it. Let's dive into this memeish madness to see what this video actually tells us about Markiplier's it tell us Smasher anything. past preferences. Thanks also, this, quick uh, disclaimer cryptic. before we start: not here to cast judgment or comment on any sort of sexuality. We're just sticking to the data and the trends that Mark provided about his preferences. Bro, you don't need to make a disclaimer about not making fun of sexualities, okay? This is talking about a man smashing fictional animals, okay? God, noble. You are a guy. Equals math numbers. That's sweet. This is a lolly. Oh my god. This is a lolly from a lolly dojin. Oh my god, bro. Dude, it goes full circle. This this man has an issue. Dude, this is the nothing. Not even that lolly on the other page is sexier than math. <laughs> He thinks he's going to do a deep dive into the mind of Markiplier's sexuality and we just outed the crap out of this man. We outed him so hard. Oh, Noble, good teamwork. Good teamwork, Noble. Only a true degenerate like you knows that this is a lolly dojin. But that he had a noticeable response to. Ah. Over the course of the video, there are three in particular that merit an over-the-top reaction. Florges. <laughs> Sarina. <laughs> And Feromosa. <laughs> Smash. Lining these. He's just funny, okay? He has comedy. He's comedic. Three up side by side, you can immediately start to see a trend appearing. What yeah, I they look like full ass women. The trend is they just look like women. Oh my god, there's a trend between the. They just look like women. They're straight up Pokemon that look like women. Wow. Who would have thought? That the humanoid ones are the ones he found the most attractive. Quote from Feramosa's Ultra Sun entry. A life form that lives in another world. Its body is thin and supple, but it also possesses great power. <laughs> this man really <laughs> quoted the Pokedex. He spent 15 seconds bringing out the Pokedex <laughs> because it calls her supple. Oh, dude, Mad Pet, bro. And from Pokemon Sword's entry on Sarina, this feared Pokemon has long, slender legs and a cruel heart. It shows no mercy as it stomps on its opponent. You didn't need to bring out the Pokedex, it has long legs, we see it, bro. This definitely coincides with data that we've seen from Mark in the past. How many times have I said, I want a woman that could crush my head in between her thighs? Yeah, Feromosa definitely has those step on me vibes. People might mistake me for some. This is just turning into, like. <laughs> Dude, Markiplier just made a whole video memeing around, like 20 minutes memeing around about a whole bunch of Pokemon, and this is just exposing Matt Pat's dark fetishes. <laughs> His master plan. It's all part of Markiplier's master plan to expose MatPat. In fact, I was surprised by how many Pokemon he chose that did have sharp teeth, claws, talons, and spikes. Maybe because it's 19, funny. 19 to be precise. Maybe because it's funny. 26% of his choices. Oh now, God, obviously dude. that means that 74% of his choices didn't have things that could cut, tear, or gouge him. But it felt like quite a high percentage for someone that vehemently... <sighs> he picked... Salazzle, cause Salazzle has boobs. God, not because it would gouge him. Yeah, Markiplier is a masochist because he picked Salazzle, the only Pokemon with straight up titties. Including choices like Zalazzle and Primarina. The interesting thing they about that is like that Generation women. 7 primarily took place They're in feminine. Alola, Pokemon's version of Hawaii. Oh and my god. Know it, but Mark was born in Hawaii. Oh, that has nothing to do with anything, bro. Oh my, can you stick to your sexy lollies and math, please? That makes but sense. Psychic being at the top actually makes a lot of sense when you think about it. We've established Mark's humanoid. attraction for humanoid figures in the Pokemon. And I, love, I love how it's, this is like a surprise to him. It's like, yes, we spent the last six minutes calculating and we have come to the conclusion that the Pokemon that Markiplier wants to smash most are the humanoid ones. Yes, yes, I know this is coming as a large surprise to you all, but it's the humanoid ones. Yes, uh, th this is why I have a PhD in uh, political philosophy. Mark showed a preference towards Pokemon that contained large amounts of the color purple, closely followed by pink and black. Purple to me seemed like an obvious choice as I've always associated with the psychics, but when I looked back at it, there aren't actually that many purple psychic types. I guess it was always the psychic energy card from the TCG that had been burned into my brain. Well, anyway, you too, I guess. A purple in color theory combines the calm stability of blue with the fierce energy 
energy of red. Ah, Both yes. things that I think embody Mark to a T. I'm pretty sure this was not part of my contract, and frankly, I hate everything you stand for and everything that you are. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Purple is also the color associated with royalty. Again, Dude, there are moments in everyone's life when they're calm and when they're angry. Like, this is so weird and random. Like, you could take anyone, literally anyone, on the planet, and you'll have a calm moment and an angry moment. Mark did choose a couple of big boys, namely Waylord at 14 and a half meters or 47 feet long and weighing in at the whopping 398 kilograms Hog. or 877 pounds. Some tells me, Mark, in that situation, you're not the one doing the smashing. And while that's certainly one end of the spectrum, he once again shows <laughs> a willingness to defend so Most of his choices were under 100 kilograms and also under two meters in height, with his averages sitting at 1.53 meters, just over five foot tall, and 58 oh kilograms God. or 130 pounds. And it turns out that the most human sizes and shapes are the ones he wanted to smash after all. Wow. I love how everything is coming to the same conclusion. That really he'd rather just smash a whammon than any Pokemon. <laughs> adding a couple of extra categories like objects, ghosts, plants, and humans to cover all the bases. I initially Dude. thought that full of extra categories like objects, ghosts, plants, and humans. This is an, this is like a, this is a whole fleshlight. This, this is a whole ass fleshlight, okay? Ah, yes, this clearly shows that Markiplier Dykes doesn't like, no, that, that's the joke. How many evolutions in each Pokemon's evolutionary chain? How do they evolve? What stage within the evolutionary chain does Markiplier prefer? And it seems like you like some mature. Of the 73 smashes, four Really? Markiplier likes the mature, you say? Man, it would be cool. It would be damn swell if every YouTuber liked a mature. Nothing. Not even that lolly uh, on the other page is sexier than- What was that? What, 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 what do you say here, Matt? What was that? Nary chain does Markiplier prefer, and it seems like he likes a mature. Oh. Pa, Kelly, somebody does- all right, anyway, I had to do it. It's also worth noting that most of his choices were evolutions brought about by leveling rather than things like oh, items, friendship, or trading. That is, Weirdly, that's because items, friendship, that's all elements and stuff. It's like Ludicolo. Although, I smash Ludicolo, so that's not fair. Mark works hard, and he surrounds himself with people who also work hard. He puts a lot of effort oh into his content. God. He works out regularly. No, At least no, I thought he did. No, 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 no. He doesn't want to smash Pokemon that level up through hard work, that evolve through hard work, because he also works hard and relates to them please matt no level of armchair psychology bullshit that makes no sense in short he's a big fan of pokemon with high special attack stats and low oh defense stats God. to me yeah, this because, you know why because high special attack stats and low defense stats are most humanoids okay freaking rocks have high defense okay markiplier doesn't want to smash bastodon and steelix okay that's so he doesn't pick the defense stats it's not because he wants someone to protect him from close and... Translates to Mark being fiercely loyal and protective oh over a small God, handful bro. of people. What is the perfect Pokemon for Markiplier based on all the... If you say ditto, I will bitch slap you to next week. ...form of a two-step evolutionary line, okay. which is achieved via leveling up. The I'm just looking at the stats here. He's gonna say Jinx. There is no way... Markiplier... Jinx... No. Don't you dare say Jinx. If you say Jinx, you just have lost all respect I could have possibly had for you. Jinx is just, it's its a gelatinous, unhappy creature, okay? No one would smash Jinx. Even if it's a purple psychic type that's two-step fully evolved, high special attack, low defense, 80 pounds, all right? Don't you dare say Jinx. And so, plugging all that into the computer, we get, drumroll please. Don't say Jinx, not Jinx, don't say it. Nothing. Mark didn't just pass on oh. one by accident. All the features just don't exist in one package. But don't worry, theorists. I wasn't content to leave you or- Wait, what? what? After all that? Th that was it? Hold up. Bro, this is literally Jinx. <laughs> your, your, your logic makes no sense. You, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Yo, he goes through the whole calculations. He realizes Jinx fits perfectly, and then he's like, mm, yeah, but Jinx is kind of kind of sussy baka, if you know what I'm saying. And then he just skipped it. It weighs 89 pounds. Egg group is human-like, which is his thing. Height is four foot seven. Uh, let's see the special attack stat, because that apparently means something. And his high special attack stat and low defense! Look at this guy! What, what's he saying? This man goes on this whole freaking rant where he's gonna mathematically prove this shiz. Bro, this is stinks. Jinx's stinks. Jinx's stats. 115 special attack, 35 defense. It's high special attack, low defense. And look, it has everything that Markiplier could possibly want. It's purple 
and it's psychic type. It has literally everything. Dude, Matt Pet, I, I I mean no offense, but like, holy crap, bro. Be a, maybe there's a Pokemon that's close enough. One that ticks almost all the boxes, just not quite all of them. After digging around for several hours of my life that I'll never get back, I present to you the Pokemon that fits the bill, Mean Xiao. Height. Bro, he didn't say Jinx. This is so sad. Mean Xiao is a mammal and part of the field egg group. I love how he thinks that mammal is better than literal humanoid. It's like, to tap it all off, not only is it purple, but it's also a mammal. Wait, he said before psychic type. On the, in his parameters, he said psychic type. Bro, he said purple psychic type. Mian Xiao is not a psychic type. He's a fighting type. Was Mark's response to Mean Xiao during his video. That would definitely make me a furry pass he paused to think about his decision but what ultimately made him pass was the idea of the social stigma ah, the what social people stigma might perceive him to be if, after all diamond and pearl explicitly state that quote there once were people who married pokemon this was a normal thing because long ago people what? and pokemon were the same so what? wanting to smash pokemon isn't about being a furry instead uh, it's just about following the natural order where pokemon could become people and people could become pokemon uh, and there was no judgment on either side and you know i think uh, we could all learn but instead i decided to hire an artist to design Mark's perfect Pokemon for us using all the attributes that we talked about today. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I found it for you. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found the sexiest Pokemon of all time. The perfect Markiplier Pokemon. The height. The weight. The, the, the legs. <laughs> the color. Psychic type. High special attack. Low defense. It's everything Markiplier could want. This is is the ideal female thing. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Markiplier's perfect Pokemon. I have to say, no matter This man based it off the Anka dance. He was like, oh my god, what's Markiplier's perfect Pokemon? Oh my god, I think I know what it is. Okay, wait, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Matthew Patrick. Oh, the dude, wait, gamers. Mad Pat didn't base this off Anka from the Anka dance. There's no way. There's no way. You know why? I've actually never looked at porn ever. He's never looked at porn. He's never seen the Anka dance. This completely came out of his own creation. You love to see it. You love to see it. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.